So if you have done what I've done and tried to um, flash this with the Bidex firmware and it is now bricked, um, there is a fix. So I'll guide you through this fix um, to get it to somewhat working so then you can reflash the original firmware. So take the back off, take it out of its case. If you take the back of the case off, you'll see down the side here, you will have no headers here. Just solder in the headers. Um, this is basically UART to the ESP. Um, so obviously we have uh, ground, uh, receive and transmit, I think it is. Uh, RX, TX and ground. So the fix, all you need is a USB to serial. Um, leave the power off. So yeah, there's um, sorry, the UART. So we basically just plug in the focus. I'm gonna focus. No, the ground, the transmit, and the receive, and then we plug them in. You disconnect the screen. We plug them in the so. Let me get close. So I can see this. So we have TX and ground. So ground. And TX goes to RX. RX goes to TX. Which one is TX? I'm trying to do this through. This is very hard. I think it's this one. Excuse the band aid for anyone that wants to. <laughs> These friggin' fins are razor sharp. I was just playing with the fan and literally sliced my hand. All right, cool. So once that's done, we can plug that in. And here I'll bring you across to the screen. Bring you across to the screen, but first we'll just power the bad boy on. Actually, I'll do that on the screen so you can see. Okay, so I've just opened up Arduino IDE and I am just looking at the um, serial console. So if I power on the minor now you'll see it will start and go crazy this is the wrong firmware it gets put into a boot loop now on the now on the back of the board there's a button right here and on the top there's a button if we push the reset button and the boot button hold it in let go of the reset button you can see on the screen, the screen now it will put it into a waiting for download. Now what we do, once we're in this position here, across, we jump straight to the BitAx web installer. Um, I'd select an Ultra, it is the same chip. Uh, then we go connect. We select our serial interface. Connect. Of course, it won't work because I've got uh, the serial open here. If I just close this serial interface, click connect, connect. If we just install a flasher and let it do its thing, I've seen a lot of posts talking about going in a um, ESP prog and then using one of those expensive cables that are like 50 bucks. Um, this works, this will get you back to a running running board. You just need to reflash it with the, um, the LV06 firmware that's on Minifix. And you should be good to go. So I'll pause it now and unpause it once it's finished this. Alright, this is nearly at 97%. You'll take two minutes, come on.
make sure you wait until it does finish. Um, otherwise, yeah. Yeah. We do the whole process again. Cool. Alrighty. So now what we can do is we can disconnect. Disconnect this. Put these bad boys off. Unplug your power. Plug your screen back in. Now it will do a self test and it'll pass. I didn't have that. Unplug it, plug it back in. And then you um, basically have a working miner. If we jump back to the PC. There you go. Come on, load. Yeah, we disconnect it again. Yeah. And um, yeah, there we go. We're back at the default screen. Um, so from here, you can obviously uh, check, your check your details in or um, upload the firmware for the original one. Uh, that would be my suggestion. Uh, it's a little bit different to the Binx. So, like, if you leave it on, if you if you use this web interface and, and then upload their firmware, this value is statically assigned. You can't change it from the Chinese one. It's always freaking X for me. Anyone does have the www.bin for the, the Chinese lucky miners, uh, I'd be happy to um, to to receive that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this works. Obviously, it's, it's all showing you what you should be getting. Um, you know, yeah, hopefully this helps someone. If uh, anyone's anyone feels generous and wants to donate, I'll chuck my um, uh, eCash address uh, in the comments. But actually, you know what, scratch that. How about you just buy me a coffee in the link below? Maybe even better. I'll chuck both in there. If people are feeling generous and this helps people out, that'd be great. So just to um, add a little bit more context to this, I did update the um, firmware, so I actually went to minor fix, minor fixes, and downloaded this firmware. Once you download this firmware, um, to, to make it run smooth and fast, jump across to uh, ESP miners releases and download the, um, the 2.1.10, um, just the www.bin. Uh, once you do that, it, it kicks off. Um, you do have this issue where the I'll just share first, it does download and does hash, not mine is very fine, I just download it for the every now and now. Um, there is a, an issue here with uh, obviously the, the coding of this for the save, so if you change something, it doesn't automatically save. The easiest way to fix this is if you right click, go inspect, um, just to expand this div, and you'll see it's disabled here. Just click on it, right click, um, go edit. And just type enable, enable, hit, and then hit F hit enter, then F12 to minimize it, and then you're good to go. You can save, you know, you can save. For some reason, this I can't get this to work. Um, it's always X. I, I don't, don't know why. Uh, it's just yeah, obviously shit, shit code. Um, but I don't have the source code. If anyone does have the original WW bin for the lucky miner. Um, just check in the comments, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, hopefully this um, this helps people out. And um, yeah, because I, oh, I got buying another fifty dollar buddy cable and buddy board just to program it, and you don't even need that. Hey guys, thanks.